Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial on computer networks. In this tutorial, we'll discuss error detection and correction. Before we start the tutorial, I'll define what an error is. It's a condition when the receiver's information does not matches the sender's information. And in digital transmission, it becomes even more easier to recognize that because of the fact that only zeros and ones are being transferred so if a zero becomes one or a one becomes zero at the receiver end uh, we say that an error has occurred now there are some techniques which are used to detect these errors uh, in transmission systems some of the techniques are only error detection techniques well uh, the rest of the techniques are error detection as well as correction techniques there are a few error detection techniques that I've mentioned here simple parity check two-dimensional parity check checksum and cyclic redundancy check these techniques uh, all these techniques they follow a unique algorithm and uh, they detect the er error at the receiver using that algorithm and furthermore we have a technique known as Hamming code which not only detects but also corrects the error at the receiver now discussion of all these error detection and correction techniques is is what the objective of this uh, tutorial series is so it will be a long tutorial series so I'll divide it into three parts in the first part we'll discuss simple parity check and two-dimensional parity check let's discuss uh, what a payload and overhead is now please understand the data that we want to send this is the data that we want to send to the receiver which is known as payload now because we want to detect errors at the receivers we'll need to send some additional information uh, that will help us finding the error at the receiver and that additional information is known as overhead and any error detection technique is considered good or better than the other if the number of overhead bits are smaller uh, as compared to the payload that it carries or in other words you can say if the overhead to payload ratio is small then the error detection and correction technique is considered good uh, for example uh, we are checking out simple parity check what it does is uh, this is by the way the algorithm of simple parity check a sender sends some data then uh, the algorithm computes the parity if uh, we're using an even parity here by the way For even parity, what it does is, if the number of ones are odd, it will attach a 1 as a parity bit. If the number of ones are even, it will attach a 0. So that is what it does. It, it attaches just one additional bit, which is, which is a very small overhead that that could be considered as a positive point of simple parity check and then it is transmitted and at the receiver end it, it computes the parity again if the parity uh, conforms to the number of ones in the received payload then it ex accepts the data or rejects the data uh, accordingly now as you can see no error is introduced in the tr transmission 
so we we did send one triple zero one one we received one triple zero one one the parity was computed as one here and the parity is computed as one here also so the receiver will accept the data assuming that it has correctly received it however it has a very big limitation that uh, if two bits change uh, simultaneously if a one becomes a zero and a zero becomes one simultaneously then uh, the parity will still remain the same but the data received is pretty corrupted so uh, this technique was uh, outrightly rejected by reliable networks and a more sophisticated technique which is known as 2d parity check was introduced in 2d parity check let us assume we wish to send a few uh, few groups of data bits now the reason i'm saying they are groups because uh, the length of these uh, data bits is not necessarily taken as 8 bit uh, you can vary that also but for the sake of simplicity I've, I've chosen these data bits to be one byte each so what it does is it's a two dimensional parity check it note it notes down the uh, parity for the rows like this for example we have even number of ones so we put a zero here we have even number of ones here so we put a zero here we've got two ones here so a zero here we've got two ones so zero here now this is known as the row parities and in the next step it calculates the column parities for example in the first column we have three ones so we put a one here because the number of ones is odd <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. In the next column also we have just one one so we put a one in the column parity and so on and so forth. Now uh, the last row becomes the uh, I'm sorry the last column becomes the uh, row parity column. In row parity column we do not have any one so it becomes a zero here. And this entire thing of column parities is transmitted along with the data as payload. Uh, I'm sorry it, it is transmitted along with the data which is payload as overheads so the overhead here is a 9-bit overhead for a group of 8-bit data so if you wish to send 8-bit uh, or 1-byte sequence of numbers the overhead is going to be one additional bit attached to it courtesy of the row parities here so uh, <clears throat> and exactly the opposite of this happens at the receiver end it calculates the columns it, it notes down the data bytes in a tabular form calculates the column parities calculate the row parities and if they match then it assumes that the data received is correct so these were the two error detection and correction techniques which were introduced at the early stage of development of uh, EDCs and I'll talk about checksum and CRC in the coming tutorials and I hope you liked this tutorial and it was of some help and if it did please consider subscribing to the channel and you have a good day ahead. I'll see you around. Bye.